Hello everybody, welcome to another screencast. This screencast will be a continuation of our first video where we set up Array 10 Array using four disk drives. In this screencast we're assuming that you watched our first video where we set up a four disk array in RAID 10. So let's get going. We have set up a virtual machine you know, RAID 10 for disk array. Let's start our machine. And we're using VirtualBox as our virtualization software. And we can see our four devices, one, two, three, four, which we set up in RAID 10. And essentially we're gonna simulate a disk failure. Now on this box we have Webmin installed and we can access that by going to this IP address 192.168.124.6 and 192.164.1.1 Let's stop our firewall. Okay, here we are. Now, if we go under hardware and partitions, you can see one, two, three, four, our disk array. And if we go under Linux RAID, you can see our RAID 10 and our four partitions. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna simulate a drive failure. Let's take, let's say, drive C. And let's say that for whatever reason, that drive just failed. And we're gonna simulate that failure by removing that partition from our array. And what we can do here is we go to command line and we do uh, cat, MD stat. Okay, so this command will show us that our array is running. So let's remove our partition C or the drive C and let's see what happens. See how our RAID device it's notifying us that we have a failure, disk failure on SDC3. Now, if we go to our array, we're going to see that we have. Our disk C missing so at this point you'll get an email you'll get an alert saying we have a, a drive failure at which point you know you can go buy a new drive and plug it in um, but obviously as you can see the system is working just fine you know no no data was lost we just have essentially a drive missing so Let's assume we got the new drive, we plugged it in, and it's showing up now as a new partition. And in this case, it's showing as device C partition three. So what we need to do at this point is we can add this partition to our array. So if you go to Webmin, Hardware, Linux RAID, choose the partition and then we add that to our array. Now what's going to happen is you're going to see how the software is automatically rebuilding the array. And if you refresh this page, you can see how it's at 50% or if you go to the command line and you issue this command, you can see the percentage so we're at 76 percent and now it's at a hundred percent so you can see how it automatically rebuild our array and the same principle would apply to any of these drives so if D for example fails let's say we're gonna remove device D 
we're going to get the same disk failure notice, which is going to show up here. You should get a new drive, plug it in, add that partition to the array, and it's going to rebuild it automatically. Hope this was useful. If you have any questions, please comment below. Thanks for watching.